So some spicy individuals think that the Splatoon 3 bows are bad. And YouTube guidelines won't let me say what I think about them. So I'm just gonna make a video disproving them instead. We'll run down the good, bad, and ugly of these weapons. In reverse order, of course, because I'm very normal. It's a charger. <laughs> Guys, I, I know, I understand. Hear me out, okay? It's a charger that can't consistently one-shot. See, the bows fire three shots, and if any of them miss, which is kind of often if you're moving or the opponent's moving, you won't be getting picks reliably. The uncharged shots aren't great either. You're looking at a four-shot kill with the short bow and three with the long bow. And with the bow's slow fire rate, I think these might actually be the slowest ways to kill an enemy with a main weapon in-game. So if you get caught up close, you're pretty fucking dead. So it sucks at killing things far away and up close. So why am I shilling this again? Well, take a look at how good it is on coverage. Like, this is really good coverage. It's very versatile. It covers a lot of space really quickly. And it's also really ink efficient too, which is kind of an underrated stat that I don't think it's talked about enough. I'm not sure how it compares to stuff like the sploosh matic since I don't use that weapon much, but this shit is great in splat zones and turf wars. Also, coupled with this amazing coverage, the meter gain you get off of this is really absurd. And the shortbow special happens to be... HIDDEN MISSILES! Which is just kind of broken in Splatoon 3. You launch a dozen homing projectiles that autonomously track enemy players, that, and each missile can one-shot them, while also spreading ink. I know the game is new and all, but Tenta missiles feel top tier. At least for zones and tower. While I haven't done the math, I think that the shortbow might have the fastest recharge rate for missiles. At least right now. So, even though you're not killing anybody with the bow itself, you're constantly dropping artillery on them. Meaning you're probably gonna get the most kills on your team anyway. And as for a sub-weapon, they have curling bombs! They exist. Okay, now for the longbow. In terms of the weapon itself, it's pretty similar to the shortbow. It's got three projectiles, it's a charger weapon, its shots hurt more, and it's a bit slower and has longer range. However, the one big change is that charged shots leave bombs on whatever surface you shoot at. The bombs combine with the shots still rarely one shot by themselves. But if your team isn't brain damaged, they should do SOME damage to whoever's on the tower that can help guarantee your kills. Also, since these bombs come from the bow's main fire, it's actually way more ink efficient than using bombs, and also enemy players can't stack bomb defense in order to not die as quickly. The longbow special is Killer Whale, which is good, but I don't think it's as consistent in the miss as the missiles. Just something about the sonic going... I don't know. It just seems like a lot of the killer whales I use don't turn out as well. Though sometimes you do get some really good uses of it where you can kill two to three people if you drop it in just the right spot. Its sub-weapon being missed is probably good for zones and tower, but I'm not really good enough to use it properly, and I generally kind of just think that arrow bombs are better for a deterrent, at least in my opinion, they're, since they're more ink efficient and all, and they can kill even though they don't, you typically do. But yeah, bow good overall. Hopefully they add more sets with it in the future. I'd certainly like some splat bombs with the short bow, or hell, even burst bombs to make close encounters suck less. Maybe with the rain special, or those tornadoes in a can special. Oh, and I did try to test it out in tricolor battles, but I didn't get a single match of that, so I have no clue how good it is there. But hey, the bows are pretty good for what I did try out. So, give them a shot if you think that they'd be cool. 
And to leave this off, I used to watch a much better YouTuber who made Splatoon videos, and he'd always end his videos with a hype clip or two, so I think I'll just steal that idea. Oh shit. Oh! Jesus. What the? <laughs> Three in a row, motherfuckers! Oh shit. Cause they're so good and they're also so long that it just burns through the fucking. It just burns through your sh Oh my god! Come on. Okay, I didn't get the full. I didn't get the full quad kill, but I'll take it.